lovelies welcome back to my channel so today i will be doing a review on born pretty store flower tangle s001 and this is a beautiful plate let me just go ahead and show you guys uh so this is how the plate looks as you guys can see it's a very unique plate i really like it like i will create a mani using this and i also will probably um use some puff sticks to show you the rest of the image that i don't use on my mani so I already have some blue polish. It's just regular polish. So let's go ahead and remove this film. Also, I just want to tell you I do have a 10% off um, that you guys can use on uh, on your purchase. So I'm going to leave it right here. Um, what else? Oh, also, for you guys to find it so much faster, I'm going to leave a product number that I'm going to leave right here for you guys. So we're going to go ahead and make sure when you remove the blue plastic, make sure you get some acetone and clean your plate. Um, because you know that could leave some sticky residue and you know that could cause problem on your plate when you p trying to pick up your image so make sure you clean your plate really good <laughs> my plate's always sticking to my uh, silicone mat okay so I'm gonna go ahead and get started and then I will talk to you guys at the end of the video like we always do uh, I will be using a clear um, clear stamper so, let's get started. So I wanted to come back and talk to you guys um, before I continue uh, stamping my nails because I noticed like depending on the length of your nails you can use this across or you know um, okay so this let me just show you instead of I don't want to confuse you guys so I use this image right here across but also if you if you pick up this image and if your nails are not super long you can actually use it the other way you can use it this way so as you guys can see either you guys can create a mani um, you know doing an accent nail I don't know which one you're going to choose for your accent nail but or you can create two different manis using the same image I don't know I just wanted I thought that was really cool on this image right here you got different like over here you have a big flower over here you have a small flower uh, you can um so that can create, you can create a different many, but um, I will, let me just go ahead and pick up this right here because, you know, I wanted to do a reverse stamping design with this. This is so pretty, like, I need to create a reverse stamping. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm just going to 
choose any color polishes that I want to have and I'm just gonna color the flower okay and then I have a green color and this is this right here uh, when you're doing like a, a reverse stamping basically basically you're creating like a sticker for your nails it doesn't have to be perfect Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry and let me just show you guys uh, I don't know if you guys can see it but definitely you guys can see it right there I'm gonna let this dry a little bit more and then I'm gonna stick it to a pop stick so for my nails I'm trying I want this image right here but I don't I'm not sure if I want to use black or white stamping polish if I use white stamping polish I feel like it's gonna be um, Okay, let's let's try let's do one with Y. So I need another stamper. We'll do it on the thumbnail. That actually looks really really pretty if you want like a soft I think uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and maybe stamp all my nails in white except this one. I'm gonna be kind of creating like um accent nail and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and I guess I could pick up the image and then color the flowers but let me go ahead and finish stamping my nails before I create that because I'm gonna need to keep it on the stamper for a little bit and I know this stamper is kind of cloudy that's the only thing I don't like um, but I this Stamper is really good. It's from Ellie's Resin and I always pick up everything. I don't think I really have any issues with um, this kind of stamper. Like the blue and pink solid um, stampers. Oh, I really like it. This is such a beautiful design. Oh, it's really beautiful. see if Ooh. stain my nails with some white just get a little bit of acetone I think I'm gonna have to pick up this image again just because I think I took too long and it was gonna be dry so if you're wondering why okay so I'll go ahead and stamp this on my pinky That looks really nice. All right, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up um, this again. Get rid of this and this, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start coloring. Uh, do I want red? I think pink is gonna look better. So we're gonna use a uh, pink polish to color the flowers. Okay, we're gonna let that dry. Now I wanna show you guys. Let's see if I'm able to stick it to the pop stick. If it doesn't stick, it's because it's already like really dry, but no, it's perfect. So that's how would you create a reverse stamping. And you guys know um, this looks really beautiful. All right, so we're gonna let this dry and then I'll come back. I'm waiting for this to dry because I did it all over again because when I uh, it dried I noticed like the part uh, the white part right here around the flowers it got completely pink so this one somehow um, stained the white part and I didn't like it so I did remove it so I'm letting this dry but while that's drying uh, it's not gonna take long anyways it's almost ready I just wanted to show you guys 
um, all the pop sticks that I already have. And all I can say, this plate is very lovely. I love it. Uh, it's really nice. Definitely recommend it, like 100%. Um, I really like these kind of designs. They're so nice. And I love flowers. So here's the one with the reverse stamping. And this is like the same image. It's just the bottom. The one, This one is from the bottom part and this one is from the top of the design. And I think it looks really, really nice. So yeah. Um, let's see if this is ready. I believe it is. If it's not, I will run into a problem. <laughs> Oh yeah, that looks nice. So, first I use these, but these are super pigmented, and then, I don't know what happened. I mean, like I said, they stained the, the white part right here, and it was really pink, and I didn't like it. So I went in uh, color with um, Nicole's Irie and Born Pretty, and that turned out really good. Uh, it didn't stain out of the image. But before I top coat, uh, another thing that I did, I used this glitter, and I got this a long time ago from Dollar Store. can't remember which one, and I'm just going to uh, place a little little tiny dot in the middle of the flower just to give it something extra and that's how my mani is gonna look um i gotta put some cuticle oil clean up around my cuticle top of that and then i will be back to show you guys the end so result this is how my mani looks i think it looks really really pretty <laughs> um so definitely recommend this plate uh i add some uh, matte top coat um the top the matte top coat that I use is this Wet n Wild, and as you guys can see, it looks really nice too, so I don't know, you decide what you like better. <laughs> I think I'm going to leave it shiny, actually, I like it like that. So I will have some pictures at the end of the video, I hope you guys like this review. Uh, if you guys did, give it a big thumbs up, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye, lovelies!